Hi friends, welcome to Wisdom is Power channel. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Click the notification bell to receive more wisdom videos like this. Thank you. Today we're going to talk about the inductance of a three-phase transmission line. So we have here a three-phase single circuit transmission line with symmetrical spacing. So when we say symmetrical spacing, the distances between the three conductors are equal. So the inductance of a single a three-phase single circuit transmission line can be expressed as L is equal to 2 times 10 to the negative 7 natural logarithm of D sub M over D sub S Henry per meter. Where D sub M is the geometric mean distance or the GMD and D sub S is the geometric mean radius or the GMR. So in a symmetrical spacing, the geometric mean distance is simply equal to the distances between the three conductors. While D sub S, or the geometric mean radius, is equal to 0 0.7788 multiplied by the radius of the conductor. So in a symmetrical spacing, the same equation we will use to get the inductance of a three-phase single circuit transmission line. That is two times 10 to the negative seven, natural logarithm of D sub M over D sub S, and the unit is Henry per meter. So again, D sub M is the GMD and D sub S is the GMR. So to get the value of the geometric mean distance of the D sub M, that is simply the cube root of the, the product of the distances between each conductors. While the geometric mean radius is still 0 0.7788 multiplied by the radius of the conductor. So let us try to solve practice problem number one. So a five mile long three phase transmission line has an equilateral configuration of four feet spacing. The conductor is ACSR with GMR of 0 0.01668 feet and a resistance of 0 0.303 ohm per mile. So determine the impedance. So let us try to write the given first. So the length of the transmission line is equal to five mile. And the distance of separation between the conductors is four feet. The frequency is 60 hertz, though it is not stated here, but we will assume that the frequency is 60 hertz. The geometric mean radius of the conductor, since this is ACR, this is already given in the problem that is equal to 0 0.01668 feet with a resistance of 0 0.303 ohm per mile. So again, we are asked to solve for the value of the impedance. So we all know that impedance is equal to R plus J X sub L or the resistance plus the inductive reactance. So let us try to solve for the resistance first. So since we have the given 0 0.303 ohms per mile, so we will convert this or we will just get the value of the resistance in terms of ohms. So to do that, we will just simply multiply the value by the length of the transmission line, which is five mile. So the resistance will become 1.52 ohms. So the inductance is equal to two pi times two times 10 to the negative seven natural logarithm of D sub M over D sub S. That is equals to two times 10 to the negative seven LN four over 0 0.01668.
So the inductance is equals to 1.096 times 10 to the negative 6 Henry per meter. So since the unit is still Henry per meter, we will convert this to Henry only. So to do that, we will multiply this by one meter by our conversion factor of one meter over 3.28 feet. And also another conversion factor of 5,280 feet over one mile. Because one mile is equal to 5,280 feet and one meter is 3.28 feet. So multiply by the total distance of the transmission line. So the units will be canceled and the remaining unit will be Henry. So that is the inductance is, will be equal to 8.82 times 10 to the negative three Henry. Now we're going to solve for the inductive reactance. So that is equal to two pi FL. So we will just plug in all the values given. That is two pi multiplied by 60. This is 60 Hertz because this is the frequency. And the value of the inductance we solved earlier, which is 8.82 times 10 to the negative three. So X sub L is 3.33 ohms. So again, we will go back to our uh, equation for the impedance that is equals to R plus J X sub L. So since we already get the value of R and also the value of the inductive reactance, we simply write it impedance is equals to 1.52 plus J 3.33 ohms. This is in the rectangular form and we can also write this in a polar form that is 3.66 angle 65.47 degrees ohms. For practice problem number two, a five kilometer long three-phase transmission line has a horizontal configuration of four feet spacing. The conductor is ACSR with GMR of 0 0.0244 feet and a resistance of 0 0.306 ohm per mile. So determine the inductance, reactance, and the impedance. So let us try to write all the given first. So again, since the frequency is not mentioned in the problem, so we will assume that the frequency is equals to 60 hertz. And the distance between the conductors is equals to 4 feet. The geometric mean radius is already given. That is equals to 0 0.0244 feet. And the length of our transmission line is five kilometers. And also the resistance is, al is already given, which is 0 0.306 ohm per mile. So we are asked to find the inductance reactance or inductive reactance and the impedance. So we all know that impedance is equals to R plus J X sub L. So for the solution, so again, we will uh, solve for the value of the resistance by uh, multiplying by the conversion factor of one mile over 1.609 kilometer because one mile is equals to 1.609 kilometer, multiplied by the length of our transmission line. So the units will be canceled. So the remaining unit will be cam ohm. So that is the value of the resistance is equals to 0 0.951 ohms. To solve for the geometric mean distance or D sub m, that is equals to cube root of the the products of the distances between the conductors. So that is cube root of four multiplied by four multiplied by eight. So the geometric mean distance is equals to 5.04 feet. So now we can solve for the value of 
the inductance that is 2 times 10 to the negative 7 ln d sub m over d sub s. Simply pl plug in the values given. So the inductance will become 1.07 times 10 to the negative 6 Henry per meter. So since we need only the, the unit of Henry, so we will multiply this by the conversion factor of 1,000 meter per 1 kilometer multiplied by the total length of the transmission line. Then all units will be canceled. So the remaining unit will become Henry. So the value of our inductance is equals to 5.35 times 10 to the negative 3 Henry. So for the value of inductive reactance, that will be equals to 2 pi FL. So frequency is 60 hertz. And the, inductive, the inductance is equals to 5.35 times 10 to the negative 3. And it will give us 2.02 .02 ohms for the value of inductive reactance. So now we can solve for the impedance, which is equals to R plus J X sub L. So we will simply plug in all the computed values. That is equals to 0 0.951 plus J 2.02 .02 ohms. So this is the rectangular form of the impedance. And we can convert that into the uh, polar form of the impedance that is 2.23 angle, 64.79 degrees ohms. So let's have practice problem number three. So determine the impedance of a three-phase single circuit 12 kilometer transmission line whose conductors arranged in a triangular formation as shown. The diameter of each conductor is 5 millimeter and resistance of 0 0.1957 ohm per mile. So again, let us try to solve for the, let us write the given first. The length of our transmission line is 12 kilometers and the frequency is 60 hertz and the diameter of each conductor is 5 millimeter. And R is equals to 0 0.1957 ohm per mile. So again, we are asked to solve for the value of the impedance. So the impedance is equals to R plus J X sub L. And for the solution, so again, we will solve for the value of the resistance by multiplying by the conversion factor of one mile over 1.609 uh, kilometer multiplied by 12 kilometer. So we will cancel all the, all the units so that uh, the remaining unit will become ohms. So the resistance will have a value of 1.46 ohms. So again, to solve for the value of D sub M or the geometric mean distance that is equal to the cube root of the products of all the distances between uh, the conductors. That is the cube root of 20 multiplied by 20 and multiplied by 38. So the geometric mean distance will be equal to 24.77 feet. Now let us solve for the the radius, so radius is equals to diameter divided by 2, but that is 5 mm divided by 2, which is equals to 2.5 millimeter. So the geometric mean radius is equals to 0 0.7788 R. So we have already the val computed the value of R or the radius of the conductor. So that is equals to 2.5. So the geometric mean radius is, uh, should be converted first by multiplying by this conversion factor, one foot uh, over 305 millimeter. So this uh, will be canceled so that the remaining unit will become fit. So the geometric mean radius will be equals to 6.38 times 10 to the negative 3 
fit. So now we can solve for the inductance. So that is equal to 2 times 10 to the negative 7 ln d sub m over d sub s. Substitute the values we computed. The value of the inductance is equal to 1.65 times 10 to the negative 6 Henry per meter. Multiply, of course, by our conversion factor of 1,000 meter divided by 1 kilometer and multiply again by the total length of the transmission line, which is 12 kilometers. Then all the units will be cancelled so that uh, the unit Henry will stay here or the, it will be now the units for the inductance. So the inductance is equal to 19.83 times 10 to the negative 3 Henry. And for the value of inductive reactants that is equals to 377 or this is the omega multiplied by 19.83 times 10 to the negative 3 the value of our inductance. So Inductive reactance will be equal to 7.48 ohms. So now we can write or solve for the impedance by simply substituting all the values we computed for the resistance and the inductive reactance. That is equals to 1.46 plus J 7.48 ohms. So this is the value of our impedance in rectangular form. While in polar form, the value of our impedance is equal to 7.62 angle, 78.96 degrees ohm. So that's all, my friends. So again, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. And click the notification bell to receive more wisdom videos like this. Thank you. And see you in the next wisdom video.